How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're on about vs Scott, also known as Super Blue, from the Discord server in the underused tier. Looking at the team, they got a pretty cool sand team with Hippowdon, Tyranitar, Excadrill, which is a threat with Sand Rush for sure, a Fezendipity, which I can now say properly, Hisuian Electrode, and a Como. -O. Pretty good stuff, so I'm hoping Espeon, Espeon can do some work here. Um, the T-Tar's gotta go, the Excadrill's gotta go. Um, other than that though, uh, Espeon puts in the work. Psychic hits everything really hard, except from those two Pokemon. Um, so I'm hoping that Espeon can do something. I'd love to have an Espeon thumbnail, but you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We may end up with a Quackable one, because looking at the team, Quackable does really well as well. So um, I think we we assume they lead off with Titar or Hippo, or Hisuian Electrode, and we lead off with Hydrapple. I think that is the way to go. I don't think they lead off with Fezendipity. Um, I think Hydrapple does really well against their entire team as well, except from the Como and the Fezendipity. So I think leading with that is going to be fine. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun. Super blue. So they're going to lead off with Jade the Tyranitar as we lead off with Hydrapple. So not a bad matchup for us. They could go for a knockoff, but I feel like they switch straight out into Pheasantipity because it walls us. Um, so I kind of want to go for an Earth Power, but they may want to go for a Stealth Rock first. So in, if we assume they're going to go for a Stealth Rock, we should Giga Drain or Nasty Plot or Giga Drain. I think Giga Drain is the way to go. I don't want a Nasty Plot straight away just in case they do go Pheasantipity, which it looks like they have done. So they are withdrawing the T-Tar. Are they going Pheasant Dipity? Yo, what's Yo? That is going to be the Pheasant Dipity. So that is good to know. You get Giga Drain off on it, which is always nice. It's not doing anything, obviously. Um, and we do get some Sandstorm damage on the uh, Pheasant Dipity and us. We will see if we have leftovers or not on there. It looks like the Black Sludge, which is good. Which tells me they're not going to terror the Pheasant Dipity, which is good to know. Um, now looking at this matchup, I would say Metagross is our best go-to Pokemon here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. They may go for a U-turn. They may go for a play rough. They may go for a poison move. It's really up in the air what they're going to do. Because I've never battled Super Blue before, I don't think. They go for the play rough. Obviously, they can't poison us with Toxic Change because we're a Steel type. So that's nothing to worry about. Now, we get a free Heavy Slam off on whatever we want. Now, I'm probably going to see a hip out on Switch. But damage is damage at the end of the day. So I'm going to go straight for the Heavy Slam. If they bring Excadrill in to take the Heavy Slam, so be it. But it'll be valuable chip on the Excadrill as well. They bring in Slams. What's Slams going to be? The Hip Out on. Okay, so that thing is heavy. So Heavy Slam isn't going to do as much. There's nothing. Um, so that's fine. We now, I, I can probably expect to Stealth Rocks. So I think I'm going to go back into Hydrapple here. And um, just because, it, it, unless they have Ice Fang, we should be fine. You know, unless they have Ice Fang. I don't think they have Ice Fang now. Because that's not normally ran. Stealth Rocks. Okay, Stealth Rocks come through. Which is great and all. Um, what we can do here is we could go for an Earth Power predicting the Pheasantipity to come back in. Or we can go straight for a Giga Drain again. I think because they can't really touch us. So if I go for an Earth Power, they might Whirlwind. So if I go for an Earth Power, it's still valuable chip on the Hippowdon. And it hits everything on their team for super effective slash neutral damage. So they do withdraw. Are we going to see a Pheasantipity switch? That'd be great. Yo, that's the Fezendipity. So we do get a good switch here with, with the Earth Power. And they are a poison type, so they are weak to this. Doesn't do much damage because they are very specially defensive. But at the same time, we get a specially defensive drop. So that's pretty awesome. Sandstorm does subside, which means the T-Tar or the Hippowdon could come in at any time. I'm leaning towards them going for a Roost. And since we got the Earth Power special defense drop, we could get away with this. So I think I'm going to risk it for a Chalky Biscuit and go for an Earth Power. And they do go for a Roost, which is great, which means this Earth Power is going to do more damage than it did before because of the Special Defense drop. There we go. And if we can get another drop, that'd be amazing. Boom. So basically, we can stay in and go for Earth Powers all day. They either have to switch out because they're not, you know, they're not roosting as much damage as we're dealing. And they only have 8 PP on the Roost. I think they go for another Earth Power here because, yeah, they go for a Play Rough, which isn't going to do much damage. It may poison us. It does poison us, which is fine. We're going to get a Regenerator anyway when we switch this thing out. And then we get a clean Earth Power. So Pheasantipity versus Hydrapple. The winner is Hydrapple. That is awesome. Definitely, definitely awesome. Right. Let's see what we can do now. Because they more than likely bring in the Hisuian Electrode, if I had to guess. Or the Como. Probably the Como. Scone comes in. Or is it Scone? <laughs> scone or Scone? Whichever one you say. 
Como. Right, okay. So I can't afford this thing going for a Clanger of Soul. I can't, I can't afford it getting a free one off. So I'm going to have to stay in and go for a Fickle Beam. I'm not going to Terra because they could go for an Aura Sphere predicting the Terra. Um, because we either switch out here or we Terra into a Terra Steel. Um, if we were Terra Fairy, that'd be better, but we're not. So I'm going to go for the Fickle Beam just to stop them from going for it. They do go for the Clanging Scales, which is going to take it out. So that's great. I mean, it lowers their defenses and it invites in my Espeon, which is great. And the fact that they're four times weak to um, Fairy tells me we can bring Espeon in and friend this thing out real quick. So I'm going to go into Espeon. Now they may, because they are showing a special move, they may be Terra Normal Boom Burst, which is something we have to watch out for. But I feel like they definitely go T-Tar here. So I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam just to see how much damage it does. It'll KO the Como unless they Terra. And it'll do some ne decent damage to the um, Tyranitar. But they may go extra drill. Jade, is that the Tyranitar? It is the Tyranitar. So Tyranitar comes in and gets the Sand Stream off, which is great. Um, Espeon gets a nice and clean Dazzling Gleam off, which does half, which means we don't need to Terra. We don't need to Terra. They're not leftovers. I can freely now go for another Dazzling Gleam. And if they bring Excuse Drill in, it's going to be free damage. Just a little bit of chip. Just a little bit of chip can go a long way. Dazzling Gleam comes through. They actually stay in like a champ. Oh, they lived. They lived it like a boss. As if it did 50% the first time and we get a low roll. I mean, low rolls are a thing, but, you know, wow, that's unfortunate. Es poor Espeon doesn't get to do anything this game either. That is really unfortunate for Espeon. So, we still have our Terra. We've got a couple of options. We could go Metagross. We could Bullet Punch this thing into Oblivion. We could go at, um, We could go into Quackable and go for an Aqua Step. That could be good. I think Aqua Step on the Extra Drill is actually a pretty good idea because they, they, they're definitely going to Hisuian Electrode here, right? So, Point Stone's going to dig in. We go for a Aqua Step. We go for an Aqua Step, 100%. We 100% go for an Aqua Step because... Excadrill will outspeed us the next turn with its Sand Rush, if it is Sand Rush. Um, but we should be alright. So they withdraw. What are they going to withdraw their T-Tart into to take an Aqua Step though? A an Electrode? Eucalyptus. That's got to be the Electrode, right? Yeah, it is. So the Electrode comes in. Aqua Step comes through. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure that we outspeed after an Aqua Step. Because um, Electrode is very fast. Like, really fast. Like, stupidly fast. <laughs> Um, so let's see how this plays out for us. We take them down to about 50% with that extra step plus the sandstorm. Um, do they have leftovers or not? Potentially, maybe? No, they don't. So we can expect a move of some kind, like an electric move or a leaf storm. I'm going to go Skeledurge because Skeledurge resists the leaf storm, which could be coming, or the energy ball, whichever one it is. Um, but I think it's more likely to go for a vault switch, personally. But um, Skeledurge is going to have to do it. It's going to have to be Skeledurge. So they go for a Discharge, which is fine. So they're going to go for a Volt Switch the next turn, no, no doubt. Because they don't want the Electro to go down. It's the only thing stopping us from sweeping with the um, uh, Quackable. So, if in that regard, should we go for a Will-O-Wisp? Because they, only, they can only bring in physical attackers except from Como. I think we go for a Will-O-Wisp. I think Will-O-Wisp is fine. Because they go for a Volt Switch like that. Which gets a crit, which is really unfortunate. But at the same time, it's not a big deal. It still didn't do too much damage, you know. We are special defensive after all, so that makes sense. Jade comes back in, the T-Tar. If we can pull this burn off, that'd be ideal. Yes, we can, because it'll still KO the T-Tar. So the T-Tar is going to go down to the burn this turn, um, which is fantastic. There we go, Jade was burned. Sandstorm subsides the turn again, burned. But they still have hip out on, so it's not a big deal. So T-Tar goes down to the burn. Skeledurge claims another soul. Absolutely amazing stuff. In comes Scon or Sco. Scon or Sco. One of the two. Um, this thing is a threat. Um, I could Terra Fairy. I could be that guy. But I'm leaning more towards Will-O-Wisp plus Hex. Because these, if it is Clanger or Soul, they usually have a mixture of physical and special moves. And their physical moves normally Drain Punch. So, I kind of want to Will-O-Wisp it. I do kind of want to Will-O-Wisp it and then Hex. I think that is the way we're going to have to go here. They go for the Clanging Scales. We don't live, unfortunately. But we do get a valuable defense drop, which is great. Now, unfortunately, our best way of dealing with this is going to be the Metagross. I don't know why I said unfortunately, because that's still not, not bad. It's not bad, really. 
Um, or we can go Quackable and Aqua Step on it, but I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to have to go Metagross here and then bait out the Hippowdon. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Point Stones do dig in, which is unfortunate. And now I'm actually leaning towards a double switch into Quackable. Because they're either going to have Flamethrower or they're going to switch Hippowdon. And I think they're going to go Hippowdon. So they do withdraw. Are we going to see a Hippowdon switch? They, they have no reason not to. Slams. That's the Hippowdon, right? To get that Sandstorm up. Yeah, there we go. So we made the right play by doubling out into Quackable, which is great. Hopefully we can pull this back with Quackable. That'd be amazing because I'd love to do a Quackable video again. I haven't done a Quackable video in ages. Ages and ages and ages. Right, so there we go. Sandstorm's going to dig in. Stones dig in. All that stuff. And we do have the leftovers though, which is fine. I'm going to go for an Aqua Step. And they actually stay in. Are they going to Whirlwind? Could they Whirlwind here? We get a speed boost, which is great. Roar. Okay, Roar instead of Whirlwind. But we got some valuable damage off on it, which is like, you know, super important. Um, so let's see what we get Roared into. Hopefully the Mandibles. That'd be ideal. Megros. Megros gets dragged out. So Point Stones do dig in. Megros gets dragged out. I say we go for an Earthquake because I, the Hippowdon is on Death's Door. I don't mind Metagross going down if I can finish it off with an Aqua Step, you know? So I'm going to go for an EQ. Obviously, Heavy Slam wasn't doing any damage because it's, like, not heavier than a Hippowdon. Will they go for an... Oh, an Earthquake. We could live that. We do live that. Ooh. So here's the thing, right? They're going to switch out, but what are they going to go into? Are they going to go Como? We go for a Heavy Slam here, 100%. Because they're probably... If they're going to switch out, they go Como. But I don't think they will switch out. I'd rather not use a Custard Berry here. You know? So I think I'm going to go Mandibuzz. Now, they may go for a Slack Off. But I don't think they will. I think what they're going to do here is they're just going to Sack Off. And they're going to go for an EQ again. So I'm going to go into Pebbles. They withdrew. Okay, so they didn't want it to go down. They didn't want to go down. That's fine. We got Scone coming in now. Which is, of course, the Komo. -o. We'll have to buy the Sandstorm and all that, which is fine and dandy. So what I'm leaning towards here is I want to get an explosion off on this thing. Particularly this thing. Because they're going to go for a Clanging, uh, clanging Scales, right? So we go for a U-turn here. Clangorous Soul comes through. Ooh! It's always terrifying when they go for the Clangorous Skull Soul because they if they had Throat Spray, it would have popped already on the Clangorous um, Scales. But they are Omni Boosted now, which is terrifying. Comb O is terrifying with an Omni Boost. We get a U-Turn off, though, which is great. So they have got a Defense Boost, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Now all I've got to do is lean towards whether I want to explode or not. So I think I'm going to go into Metagross. Metagross should live the Stealth Rock damage here. Mega should lead off with the, you know, we should be all right. Sandstorm subsides. Now all we have to do is they are leftovers. Good to know. They don't get priority unless they have randomly vacuum wave. I don't think they will. Question is, do we Terra normal or not? Do I need Terra electric on the um, the Quackable? Terra electric could be good against the ele electrode if it does outspeed us still. Yeah, I say we just go for a regular explosion. If it, barely K if it barely misses the KO, I know I should have terrored. I know I should have terrored if it barely KOs. There's the Custard Berry popping, which is great. Then we go for an Explosion. And unfortunately, Explosion isn't nearly as powerful as it used to be in previous generations. But still, it's based 200 odd. <sighs> Clean KO. Clean KO with the Custard Berry Explosion from Metagross on the Omni Boosted Coma O. We are so back. We are so back. Right, okay, so we've got a couple of options here. If we assume they're going to go Electrode, we should go into um, anything else. I think I go Quackable because it's more than likely they're going to Hip Out on. They do go Hip Out on. They do go Hip Out on. Quackable could pull this back, just letting you know, just an FYI. It really depends what they do with next. So we get a uh, Sandstorm up. That's fine. Aqua Step comes through. Let's go for the Aqua Step. Let's see if Quackable can pull this back. Aqua Step comes through. We're going to get a plus one speed boost, which is great. And down goes the Hippowdon, which is great. We're going to get a Moxie boost as well. Fantastic. 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 Hippowdon goes down. 
In comes Monty. Is that going to be the Excadrill? It is the Excadrill. So Excadrill could take us out here with an Earthquake. I think Quackable can live personally. So I'm going to go for that Aqua Step one more time. They do Terra. So if we can live this move, they may go for Terra Ghost here. If we can live this move, the Terra Ground, we don't live. We don't live the EQ from this thing. Unless they're adamant, we don't live. If they're adamant, we are speed. Earthquake, Terra Ground boosted Earthquake. Now, now, Sandrush Excadrill comes back through with the Terra Ground. Absolutely amazing stuff from my opponent right there. So we're going to go into Pebbles. Pebbles could still do some work. Let's go for a knockoff. Let's go for a knockoff. They go for a rock slide. That's going to sting a little bit, but not too much. That's definitely Sand Rush. They outsped us. All right, we knock off their item. They're going to be Expert Bell, which is good to know. Now we go for another knockoff. We just keep going for knockoffs at this point because... And let oh, no, they got a crit. Never mind. Never mind. Even went for a roost there. Doesn't matter. GG, though. That was a really fun one. Super blue. Really enjoyed that one. Extra Drill was really cool to see someone pulling off Extra Drill in a battle against me. Really fun game. All right. All right. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.